I first leg of the double. Set to go here at Flemington. Light is on. About to break. They're off and running this time. Bounced in a good line. Overnight has dropped to the back of the field. And Dublin Lead out running today. Landed in front. Dublin Lead is the leader when they settle down by two lengths to Stellis, who's moving forward on the inside. Around the outside of it going forward now. True to me. True to me is going to be up running second. Stellis third a length and a half. Mr. Rambaselli. Superior Sam Silver Neon. Further back, Jovial Dancer from Taos. And they're followed over on the inside by our playmaker. Followed by Top Walk. A length and a half goes story. Two to Grey version. And last of all overnight. Coming down the side they're inside the thousand meter mark Dublin lad three quarters in front true to me second two and a half Stellis third a length into Mr Amboselli fourth they're three lengths in front now from Superior Sam on the inside of its silver neon they're followed by Jovial Dancer off the fence two to Taos then top walk over on the inside further back and the race then came at the head of the others would have been our playmaker followed by Ghost Story third last from Grey Version and last of all on the home turn would have been overnight around the turn and on the outside here true to me is striding quickly now to Join Dublin lad from Stellis the rail. Two for the back, Mr. Rambaselli and Jovial Dancer out in the centre running on fairly well. Top walk behind it now. Taos into the clear from Ghost Story. Further back in the race. Getting to the front now. True to me at the 250 metre mark from Jovial Dancer and Taos into the clear now. Further out is Top Walk. The leader is true to me on the outside. Jovial Dancer and Taos are starting to wear it down. Further out is Top Walk. Taos in the centre. Put his nose in front. Taos. Taos has got up to win a long head to Jovial Dancer or Top Walk. Behind those would have been Ghost Story from True to Me and Dublin Lad, Mr. Amber Sally from Silver Neon Grey Version, Superior Sam Stellis, and further back in the race then, overnight and last of all would have been our playmaker. And number two, three Taos at 370, 150, five Jovial Dancer, 180, and six Top Walk, 260. Number three Taos at 195 and 85, five Jovial Dancer, 90, and number six Top Walk to return 115. The centre, right near the line which will just gain in the day. They came with long runs, and number three, Taos gets the photo, number three. Number three, Taos, Steve King. Correct way, Queen Bean. Three has won the uh, Sortino Trophy today, back to his right journey. And the judge calling on the photo here for the minors to uh, rest between Jovial Dancer and on the outside, Top Walk. Not much between the three of them, just short of the pace, with Taos just lunging at the right time. And he's gained the photo after Jovial Dancer started to pick up this leader, which has run a bowl race out in front, true to me. It skipped to the front when they turned for home. They gathered it up at about the 150. And the judge looking at this photo to rest between Jovial Dancer and on the outside top walk. A uh, little in that, Jovial Dancer covered up by the body of Taos, so it's hard really to, uh, to measure as to how close his nose is, uh, comparing him to top walk, is on the outside of the trio. Ian Craig for the 1994 Villiers Stakes. The record for the race is held by Kabora at 133.8. He's only had 43 starts, Kabora, a six year old stallion by Crested Wave. He's drawn the inside today. Now here's My Diamond Rouge coming up. My Diamond Rouge about to move forward. Next Joy is coming into his position now. A three-year-old Nick's Joy and Pardu Bay is coming up now to occupy gate number 20, the outside of the line in the Villiers Stakes. Pardu Bay moves up and it looks as though we're set and ready for action. This is a group two. And they should be off at any tick of the clock. Yes, the starter goes up onto his stand. Ready and off. And Kabora from the inside missed it by a couple of lengths. Artie Mary Rhythm Review and Intermusician dropping back in the early stages. And it's largest K tackle for the lead by Saberna. Then Silver Flyer and Nick's Joy Mind Blast right up there with Mighty Tango Zaremba sprint by. Golden Cocktail handy on the fence over Christmas Magic and My Diamond Rouge. Over on the rails next is Golden Step. Two lengths to Cohort and then a gap par Dubai and Artie Mary Jack Attack and Jamia. Two to Intermusician. Kabora second last and Rhythm Review drops out last. On the first corner, a thousand to go, and Sir Bernard is the leader about three quarters of a length or so. Travelling second is Mind Blast, and third placing caught out a little wide at this stage, sprint by, followed closely by Silver Flyer, Largest K. Zaremba off the track from Christmas Magic, a length the next joy, and then My Diamond Rouge, Golden Cocktail, Mighty Tango. Pardu by a length further back, Golden Step, Auntie Mary, followed by Cohort Jamia. Then comes Jack Attack, Intermusician, Kabora second last, and Rhythm Review is last.
last. The Villiers field runs to the corner, and the leader is the Port Macquarie train, Sir Bernard, by two lengths now on Silver Flyer. All oh, this trouble, there's one down on the corner, I'll tell you about it later. They straighten up now, and Sir Bernard tackled in earnest by Silver Flyer, sprint by third, then next joy followed by Cohort and Pardu Bay. A gap to Zaremba and Christmas Magic, Silver Flyer hits the front from Sir Bernard. Cohort and next joy are joining in, and then at the head of the others, Auntie Mary, it's next joy going to the lead from Cohort. Oh, next joy ran in, Cohort claiming it, next joy, Cohort, Auntie Mary, it flashed up between them. Oh, the three of them have hit the line absolutely locked together. Followed by Rhythm Reviews to Bernard Pardue Bay, Silver Fire, Christmas Magic, Inter Musician, Sprint by Golden Step, followed by Golden Cocktail. Further away then, Jack Attack, Jamia, Mighty Tango, Kabora. Further away on the field was Zaremba. Mind Blast was at the tail. And my Diamond Rouge has lost the jockey. My Diamond Rouge has lost the jockey as they came down past the 500 metres and Corey Brown is on the track. He is quite conscious. Stand by for the result. Nick's Joy, Cohort and Auntie Mary and boy, oh boy, Auntie Mary has driven between them and is right up there. Terrific finish. These metric miles, I'm just looking down here, they're trying to catch my Diamond Rouge. The ground shot has indicated Artie Mary in the centre. The ground camera shot taken from a camera fractionally short of the winning post, ground level, has indicated that Artie Mary has the nose in front, number 15. Let's look at the long shot. Cohort running off the track. Nick's Joy on the inside. And Artie Mary, who flashed up so late, Let's have a closer look at this shot and yep Auntie Mary Auntie Mary looks to have taken it out the Villiers stakes and there's the number and she makes it Auntie Mary written by Jamie Innes is first Diggers after Melbourne here's Brian run. <coughs> about to go Set to run, they're off and running this time. And on the outside, Elegancy and Elishan bounce quickly. Near the inside, Razor Pulse going fast and Vanderbrand heading up towards the lead. Out in the middle here is Nimbus Express and Rocky Sprint further out. Razor Pulse over near the inside, but he's well off the fence in front. Nimbus Express has gone up on the outside to join him. A length and a half, Rocky Sprint further out is Elegancy. They're followed by Vanderbrand, Balmoral Bow and Elishan. And last of all now is Ricaria. Over the crossing they go at the 800 metre mark. Nimbus Express and on the inside, Razor Pulse. Two lengths in front of Elegancy from Rocky Sprint. Balmoral Bay back to the inside from Vanderbrand. Alishan is the widest runner on the outside of those. And further back in the race, Ricaria. Out of the course proper, they come 400 out. Razor Pulse and on the outside, Nimbus Express. Down the outside, Alishan is coming home well from Elegancy. Back inside him from Balmoral Bay. Alishan on the outside, moving to Nimbus Express and Razor Pulse. Then Elegancy and Ricaria getting out late. Alishan out wide and Razor Pulse with 150 to go. Ricaria down the outside, Razor Pulse and Alishan. Alashan got his nose in front. Ricaria diving. Hit it. Might be Alashan and nose Ricaria. Nothing in this. Third on the inside, Razor Pulse. Then further back in the race, Elegancy from Nimbus Express, Rocky Sprint, Belmoral Bow, and Vanderbrand last of all. Photo. If it's one Alashan, 310, 160, 7 Ricaria, 2190, and $4.80 for third four Razor Pulse at 150. Post here. Alashan. And Ricaria and a great go to the line. Judge calling for the photo. Super Tab 1 Ali Shana, 175.75. The other one, 7 Ricaria at 10.15 and 2 even. And for third, 4 Razor Pulse to return 85. Off Razor Pulse, Ali Shan got the upper hand from Razor Pulse with about 50 or 60 metres to go. The grey then Ricaria came after Ali Shan. And stride by stride, he was getting to him. Whether he gets there in time, I'm just not too sure. Yeah, he's got it. The seven, the grey's got it. Ricaria, number seven's got it. Yeah, he's gained it right on the post. Ricaria's grabbed Elishan to tip him out right on the line and raise a pulse number four is third. Seven, one, four. Ricaria, he had to be taken from the back of the field behind the leaders after Elishan got up to Elegancy and raise a pulse. And the grey then, Ricaria has nailed Elishan right on the line. Number seven. Number seven here, Ricaria. 
right on the post from Alishan and Razor Pulse. Seven, one and four. Mate more from Brian shortly. Make it go. Auntie Mary at uh, big odds, $27.40 was the tote return. Started uh, with the bookmakers better than that. But uh, I wonder how the caller to Kenny Callender's open line program is feeling now. He was very much an Auntie Mary fan this morning. And uh, he's obviously had a pretty good result. Good luck to him. Anybody that can back a winner at those odds almost uh, deserves a gold medal. <coughs> now, we're waiting for Grand Connection to come up. And he's about to do so. Corey Brown, who fell from My Diamond Rouge, coming to the turn in the Villiers, taken to the Prince of Wales Hospital for observation and precautionary X-rays. Now, not quite in line with Grand Connection. In it goes now. Tusk Hunter drawing on the inside. Wonder how he goes. He, he really races better <clears throat> when there's a little bit of sting out of the ground. He sometimes jars up on the firm tracks, but they're off this time. And the Kiwi, Ken's partner, actually first to leave the machine from Lord Hula. Carve Allen in third party, followed by Nias, and on the outside is El Castano. And as they travel 200 metres, Carmody in front aboard Ken's partner, narrowly from Lord Hula. Dion El Castano moving up quickly, followed by Nias, and then Carve Allen, spiritual star, followed by striking gold Tusk Hunter. Second last I saw, last of all is Grand Connection. Past the 1600 metres they travel, and Lord Hula looking for the hat trick today. He leads clearly now, a length on. El Castano. Three quarters to Ken's partner starting to pull on the inside from Nias and then Carvalon. Two to the grey spiritual star. Followed on the inside by Tusk Hunter. It is quarters of the outside striking gold. About two lengths to Isolt and a neck grand connection. The fence along towards the 1200 they go and Lord Hula shows the way. About three quarters to a length on El Castano. Ken's partner the inside. Nias one out one back followed two away by Carvalon. Then spiritual star who's only about seven lengths from the lead being tracked by strike Gold, who's got Tusk Hunter on his inside. Isolt right on the back of Striking Gold and last is Grand Connection. Down the high street side they travel going to the 850 and it's Lord Hula leading three quarters of a length El Castano. Ken's partner third parked inside of Nias and then a gap two on the outside Spiritual Star who's just shading Carvalon. Striking Gold next from Tusk Hunter. Isolt is second last. Grand Connection last only eight lengths from Lord Hula who leads the field as they race past the 600 metres by three quarters El Castano. A length away, third is Nias, followed by Spiritual Star putting in his claim. So too circling the field is Striking Gold, and as they straighten up, Lord Hula, a half El Castano, Nias on the outside. Ken's partner can't get out from Spiritual Star, Striking Gold, and then Tusk Hunter and Isolt. It's Lord Hula tackled again by El Castano. Nias trying to overhaul the pair. Ken's partner sticking on on the inside, then Spiritual Star who can't come on. Nias, El Castano, Ken's partner fighting back. Ken's partner the inside. This is a down staying performance, Ken's partner. He comes back like a lion to beat El Castano and Nias, and then I saw Lord Hula, spiritual star striking Gal Cavallon. Task Hunter second last, and last was Grand Connection. Double 316.20. Number six, Ken's partner, written by Craig Carmody. Super tab there to return 620 and $1.80. Number 12, El Castano, 150 and number seven for third, Nias, 155. Beyond the New Zealander and Ken's partner, number six, $11 approximate for the win and the place tote, well, let's check uh, the exact win, 1170. And for the place, Ken's partner has paid 320. Number 12, El Castano has paid 430. A, a New Zealand Quinella, and number seven, Nias third, and it'll pay $2.60. Six and a photo finish after race number seven here at Royal Randwick. The Harnice handicap, the winner, Ken's partner, trained by M.T. Sullivan from Takanini for... OK, Landell Jones and Mrs. A.A. Sullivan, a brown gilding five by Take Your Partner from Ken's Fortune and written by C. Carmody. Second and third placings, photo 12 El Castano is by Nawaj Dor from a Satyrian Asset, a four-year-old chestnut horse prepared by Graham Rogers and Shane Dye. It's only seventh start, a very, very fine performance by this horse who has a good record in New Zealand from those limited... Uh, appearances and uh, he's going to win in a very short space of time he didn't go under by all that far today and he just wasn't quite as seasoned as uh, ken's partner who's a five-year-old and nias is by gaius from miss millie kerry jordan larry cassidy six twelve seven now Sam Ford six twelve seven uh, here are the margins a half neck 
by a nose. A half neck by a nose. 2392. 2392 was the overall time, and the sectional run was 3525. 3525, 6127, with number five running fourth, that being Isolt, ran home all right, and nine was fifth, and that was Lord Hula. One to go, the Razor Sharp Handicap minus Classic Magic 1, 8 Copper County, 12 Cross Street, a field of nine facing the starter as we go to the interstate. He was Peter Corey Brown, rode a horse called My Diamond Rouge in the Villiers Stakes at Randwick today. Coming around the home turn, My Diamond Rouge running about eighth in yellow colours between horses, crashed heavily. Corey Brown hit the ground hard. Here it is again in slow motion. There he is. He clipped the heels of a horse in front. Uh, My Diamond Rouge was immediately back on his feet. Uh, I've got very good uh, news concerning the condition of the young jockey, but let's pick up the closing stages of the Villiers Stakes. Down the extreme outside, 100 metres to go. Silver Flyer tackled by Cohort. Nick's Joy is diving through in the middle. Auntie Mary is jumping out of the ground, but the three-year-old Nick's Joy Cohort under the arches. Auntie Mary dives through in the centre. Oh, what a thriller. Desperately close one, but Auntie Mary, ridden by Jamie Innes, got up in the last stride at 40 to 1. Nick's Joy, 25 to 1. Cohort at 9 to 1. His race 8, Renoki Boy landed some big bets. If any, Renoki Boy. Renoki Boy coming after Jean Pilo, and he's got him. Renoki Boy takes the lead close to home, and he's drawing away in the last bit, and the punter's podium looks sweet. And it's Renoki Boy beating Jean Pilo with Bella Snap third. Renoki Boy, Rodney Quinn was the winner at 11 to 2. Jean Pilo, 6 to 4 favourite, and Bella Snap at 20 to 1. Now, young Corey Brown was fully conscious after the fall. He's been taken to Prince of Wales Hospital for x ray and observation. It appears that he escaped serious injury. The horse, my diamond ruse, galloped on and was also unhurt. They're fragile little fellows, Gina, but they get up and walk away. Oh, I'd say fearless is more like it, John. Thank you. The weather is next, then a solo swim across the Atlantic.